Welcome to Easy Biology. Our next chapter is Transport in Animals or Transport in Humans. So in this chapter we have to discuss the circulatory system. This circulatory system actually consists of tubes. These system of tubes refer to arteries, capillaries and veins. These all are tubes that carry blood. Other than this we have a pump that pumps the blood known as heart and the circulatory system also consists of valves. They ensure that blood always flows in one direction. It does not flow in two directions. So, blood is transported in the tubes called arteries, veins and capillaries. Blood is pumped from the heart into the arteries. These arteries carry blood and they split into capillaries. And these capillaries eventually become veins and blood is returned to the heart by veins. So veins carry blood back to the heart. The capillaries connect two blood vessels. One is artery and other is vein. So capillary is between arteries and veins. And molecules are exchanged between blood and the cells across the capillary walls. Here we have an artery and a vein. So you can clearly see that artery has very thick connective tissue whereas vein has thin connective tissues and artery has muscle and elastic fibers that are thick in size means it has it is much more muscular whereas muscle and elastic fibers are less in veins and here is an inner lining known as endothelium this one is the inner lining this circle or the hole from which the blood passes, this is known as lumen. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you.